had to listen to some blasphemous video from David Weiss. With these blasphemous shills and agents. Fuck with people's minds with this flat earth psyop. Now to be sure there's something about the flat earth and I did videos from months back and you have to go back 500 years to start to understand about the truth of this conspiracy. And the truth that's being hidden from us is how we're a prison planet here under the dome, under the firmament. What can be confirmed is the firmament. And that the sun is not 93 million miles away and that the real conspiracy that can be attacked is who is controlling the dome and the geocentric versus heliocentric model. So these blasphemous people try and tell people that the sun shrinks when it sets. And you see, I spent a lot of my life to get here so that I could see the sunset right on my back window here on the western Jamaica, on the western Caribbean. I don't have any buildings when I go up there. And I see the sunset and melt down as a big fat ball into the west horizon. And I see David Weiss coming up with some blasphemous experiment and some blasphemous d doctored type of video showing shrinking sunsets and blasphemous experiments. Goes in his kitchen and does an experiment and then puts a thing up in the middle of a wall. But my point is <clears throat> there is truth in the, the flatness in different things. The, the cosmology and the shape of Earth, you have to understand in the models that I deal in, which is in a virtual reality, holographic. We are characters in a video game, essentially. Consider us in the mind of God and consider the mind of God a computer, the most high AI. And consider we're under three AIs at this point. There's a Most High Zeta AI, there's an Anunnaki terraforming AI, and there's a Freemason, Zionist, CIA, Mossad, Near Earth AI, with a, a set of nano satellites called Mother. Mind controlling and entraining all you fools. <clears throat> like, <clears throat> The, you, at this point, you have agents of the CIA who are living a life and living a lie and are entrained by the AI. It's very difficult to discern what's going on with them because their paycheck may be coming through the life that they've been AI'd into. As I was. As I was. I'm most high code breaker and was AI entrained much of my life and was a most high code breaker and worked for NSA operative Lusaconi in the early 80s to break the security on the world's largest bank depository trust company and went on after that to do groundbreaking work for AT&T when they were doing breakup and then to develop real-time memory databases and program trading for Morgan Stanley that di did the stock market crash of 87 when we made 30 million dollars on Black Tuesday and where derivatives were born. So I've seen a lot of these flat earth agents and entrained shills. Why entrained you see, you get mind controlled and possessed and you don't know it. You all are. How many of you know Mark 8.33 where Jesus condemned even Peter himself for having the thoughts of men?
but I've been taken recently, you know, like, I see Patricia Steer sometimes, and I really appreciate her efforts here, but sometimes her mind, sometimes her mind seems like it's being mind controlled by the AI. It's very hard to reach these people. Like, when these people insist on putting in people's minds that there's no such thing as a satellite, and that if there is a satellite, they must be using a balloon. It must be a weather balloon. Like, these people, to me, are clearly gatekeepers on free energy, whether they know it or not. There are ge clearly geostationary satellites that are up there that are used for communication, and many people are familiar with having to tune pa parabolic dishes, microwave dishes, to receive um, a satellite signal from DirecTV, or one of the other FTA satellite signals possibly some people might get a, a huge satellite network. And these. You know, the people have been misled by debunking certain, certain infrastructure about GPS, but then thinking that GPS is false, and thinking that space is false. And it seems like they don't want you to think about who is managing the dome, and the deal that they made with the Freemason government to be, the, you know, the, these hidden controllers, and on this Nephilim hybrid level that's keeping us in slavery, keeping us from free energy, and keeping us, you know, from free water. You all have to pay for water. You should figure that out by now. If you're here on Earth, and you got to pay for water when you're thirsty, what is that when you bring someone into this Earth? What kind of a curse, a sin, are you putting on a human? When you bring them into Earth, that should be a blessing. And you tell them, now you have to pay for water when you're thirsty, sucker. So, you know, I'm not saying these people, you know, I appreciate, like I say, appreciate their effort and think Patricia Steer carries off her role with a lot of grace. But be, being about free energy, Exposing 9-11 direct energy weapons and exposing the action of Hurricane Erin and the secret, the secret military and the secret space program and the secret government. That's why I think people in truth seeking should be. So this flat earth seems to be a great psyop taking people off of 9-11 and also taking people off of the movie The Principle, which focus people more on an argument that was much more mature about the geocentric versus heliocentric models rather than people arguing about whether it is a little curve over here or not a little curve over there and meanwhile their children got to pay for water and people are suffering in all different parts of the world and being used for for mock mock snuff films for dark net type of things, for harvesting human organs, for sex slavery, all type of, you know, abominations. And, you, you know, just to do a little understanding, remember the story when Jesus went on the desert. After the 40 days, the devil brought him up high in an instant and said, this is all mine, these kingdoms. I can let you run things. That should show you we're in a prison planet. And I see other ones like the Truth Frequency Network where, you know, I, I see the, the owner of the network doing all the Baphomet signs with Donnie Gillison. And Donnie Gillison is in that COINTEL network of Alfred Weber and the Space Cadets, which is a sister network to Alex, to Alex Jones, in a sense. These COINTELPOs all over. But I hear the Truth Frequency people try, talking about the Tower of Babel, and they have a lot of blasphemous talk, these people. But um, they're trying to say in the Tower of Babel that the gods, they're admitting, they're talking about the gods up there. 
you know, being bad. You, you see, that people have to be careful. Like, they're talking about the God up there, the Tower of Babel, condemning people. And like, people didn't do anything. These people at Truth Frequency Network, they talk like the people didn't do any sin or didn't do anything to cause what happened at Tower of Babel. Yeah. They don't understand about black goo. They don't understand about the bitumen pitch, which was used to seal the ark and to seal the Tower of Babel and produce one of the first chemical biological viruses. They don't know that in Sodom and Gomorrah there was a holiday four times a year where you get to rape your neighbor's wife and daughter and nobody says anything about it. They don't know about how King Nimrod there would, would live on Menses blood and how he became a giant or a Nephilim. How he ascended through this, this way to become this Nephilim hybrid. So, you have a lot of COINTEL people, they all, they use a lot of very clever Luciferian logic that some of it they're AI and trained, so they're talking and it's the machine talking through them. And they're very studied in Jesuit logic, Luciferian logic, the trivium, quadrivium, logical fallacies and different things like that. But most of them is not so good as me. That's why I can see through them when I stick to them. And like with Mark Sargent, how I saw with Mark Sargent in, a couple of weeks ago in one of the secret shows with Patricia Steer in a Q&A, someone asked him about the Dome TV show. And he acted like he didn't know about it. Said something about, oh, someone said about a book. They, they know about the book and they didn't know about the TV show. They don't know about it. But yet I find him in one of his first interviews. I think it was with a woman on All Talk Network Radio or something. He knew about the Dome TV show back then. Back then he was talking about the enclosed structure a lot more. In the Dome. His thing was called the enclosed. But you know, I guess it's been shaped a little bit. And they decided to back off because there was too much connection with who's managing the Dome. They want to keep people in this Kikardian garden. You know, where it's so easy to make a dialectic, a Hegelian dialectic happen and make a division happen. And, and bring up these shills, the, all these shill people with thousands of subscribers and then have them turn and fight on each other. The same type of people. This is, th these people are related to the Canadian COINTEL of like Jeff C, Free Radio Revolution, Max Malone. And join the Australian connection uh, with uh, Matrix or whatever. There's Matrix Decode and John LeBron and these people. So, I'm not saying they're lying all the time. It took me a while to find Mark Sargent lying. Or whether you want to say he has a memory relapse. But that guy remembers everything about movies and TV shows. And I heard him talking about the Dome TV show and the Dome and how it was so popular in the media at the time. And this was back in March, I think, of 215, one of his first interviews. And there he goes now denying it. And then he has his partner, Patricia Steer, making lots of excuses for him. It looked a little bit strange to me. Looked a, bit, a little bit strange to me how Patricia covered for Mark in this instance that I'm talking about. But whatever, you know, Mark is in, ge in generally truthful, but these people are gatekeepers. The gatekeepers on your future, the gatekeepers on free energy, and the gatekeepers on truth about 9 11 and the, the government that's going on above us and the government that's going on above them. And above them. So, you can walk with these flat earthers for a little bit, but don't stick with them. They're no good for you. These people are no good for you. 
because they're part of a, a CIA AI entrained operation which is built on deception and they work with demons and they worship Lucifer they don't realize you, you know they don't realize they don't realize that Lucifer isn't a problem but this is gems in here Listen from where I am.